Okay, everyone, let's start with number 36 today. Okay, question number 36. If a quadratic function y is equal to ax squared plus b plus c is open up, which means con concave upward, then which of the following must be true? So, if we wanted to uh, find out the, if it's a concave up or down, which ladder should we look at? Right, A. If A is positive, then it means it is concave upward. If A is less than zero, then it means it is concave downward. So concave outward means it will look like this, and concave downward means it will the graph will look like this. So in this case, it says uh, the quadratic function is open up. It, in other words, it is concave upward. Therefore, a gotta be greater than zero, right? So right answer is a. What about thirty-seven? In the radio station, the rider is paid two hundred one two hundred ten dollars every month, and the point five per song additionally. Okay, and 30% of the total money he earned can be expressed as, so, there is a base salary which is $201 per every month plus 0.5 songs additionally, right? 0.5 times, let's say, um, the, no, the number of songs, X, so 0.5 times X. This is his total salary. So, the question is asking the 30% of the total money he earned can be expressed as. So um, it is 0 0.3 times the total he earns, which is 201 plus 0 0.5 X or N or whatever. So um, if you look for this kind of equation among the answer choices, the correct answer is B, right? 30% times his total income. So answer choice B is the correct. So let's look at the number 38. If f and x function is equal to uh, negative x, and there is negative x inside as well, for all real number x, and 1.1 comma 2 is a point on a graph of f, which of the following must also be on the graph f? Okay. If it says f and x function is equal to negative f function, and there is once again, one more uh, negative x inside, then it says it is the reflection to the origin. So if we have f, uh, x comma y, let's say example, for example, x comma y value in f and x function, it means that it will also have negative x and negative y value. Why? Because it is a reflection to the origin, right? So in this case, we are given uh, 1, 2. Therefore, negative uh, 1, negative 2 will be also be on the graph F, right? So in this logic, the answer choice is D. Negative 1, negative 2 will be also on the graph F. Okay, let's move on to the next question, number 39. If theta is an acute angle, which of the following must be true? So we are given a three statements. The easiest way to solve this kind of problem is again, put that in your calculator and graph this out. Okay, if you graph this out, you will see that only the second statement is true. There is no way to find this out by writing, hand, by writing in hands or anything, right? So correct answer is B. Okay, let's move on to the next question, number 40. A box contains black, blue, and red balls. The probability of choosing a red ball is 1 over 3, and the probability of choosing a blue ball is 1 over 2, and the probability of choosing a black ball is 1 over 6. If there are 18 balls in total, 18 balls in a box and 2 black balls are added, so what is the new probability of choosing a black ball from the box? Okay, let's first find out the number of black balls in the box. So, number of black balls. Since the choosing a black ball is 1 over 6, probability is 1 over 6 times 18 balls in total is 3 balls, right? But if the question says 2 more black balls are added, so there are in total now 5 balls, 5 black balls, and there are 18 times plus 2.